Ever wondered what the fuss is about celebrating New Year's Eve in a major city? Well, let's take a moment to consider what makes this experience so enticing. Imagine standing shoulder to shoulder with a sea of strangers, all gathered in the heart of a bustling metropolis. There's a palpable energy in the air, a collective anticipation that buzzes around like an invisible electric current. Now you might be thinking, that sounds more like a crowded subway than a party. But hold that thought. The magic of celebrating New Year's Eve in a major city isn't just about the crowd, it's about the unique traditions each city holds. In Sydney, they greet the New Year with a dazzling firework display over the Harbour Bridge. In London, Big Ben's chimes ring out, marking the start of a new chapter, while the city's skies are set ablaze with a spectacular firework display. And in Times Square, New York, the world watches as the famous glittering ball descends, signalling the end of one year and the beginning of another. These traditions are not only visually stunning, but they also create a sense of unity, a shared experience that transcends borders and cultures. You become part of a global celebration, a participant in a worldwide farewell to the old and welcome to the new. And let's not forget the excitement. There's something undeniably thrilling about being in a city as it ushers in a new year. The lights, the noise, the laughter, the countdown. It's a sensory overload that leaves you feeling alive and full of hope for the future. So if you're the kind of person who enjoys the comfort of your own sofa and the familiar drone of the television on New Year's Eve, you might be asking yourself, why would I ever want to swap that for a crowded city square? Well, perhaps it's about time you step out of your comfort zone and experience the thrill of New Year's Eve in a major city. So if you're tired of watching the ball drop on TV, maybe it's time to consider a city break for your next New Year's Eve. If you think London's just about the Queen's speech and a cup of tea, you're in for a surprise. Now let's talk about how Londoners welcome the new year. And trust me, it's not all crumpets and cream. Picture this, a chill in the air, the city bathed in a soft winter mist, and the majestic Thames, reflecting the twinkling city lights. From the London Eye to the Houses of Parliament, the skyline becomes a canvas for a spectacular display of fireworks. A spectacle that's nothing short of magical as the clock strikes midnight, announcing the arrival of the new year. But it doesn't stop there. As the last of the fireworks fade into the night, a melody rises above the city's cheers. The crowd, arm in arm, swaying to the rhythm of Old Lang Syne, a tradition that tugs at the heartstrings and unites Londoners in a moment of nostalgia and camaraderie. It's a scene filled with warmth and unity, a testament to the spirit of London. Now here's where it gets interesting, and quite British might I add. As the song ends and the crowd begins to disperse, a new quest begins. A quest for the perfect ending to the night, or rather the perfect beginning to the new year. And what could be more perfect than a piping hot serving of fish and chips? That's right, forget about those new year resolutions and diet plans. In London the new year starts not with a detox, but with a treat. A delicious, crispy and utterly British treat. Fish and chips shops with their warm, inviting glow become the beacon for Londoners braving the cold, their laughter and chatter adding to the city's festive spirit. So there you have it, a London New Year's Eve, a spectacle of fireworks, a melody that unites, and a tradition that indulges, a unique blend of grandeur, nostalgia, and humor. Remember, in London, it's not about starting the year on a diet, it's about starting the year with a full stomach. Who said New Year's Eve has to be cold and snowy, down under, they're celebrating in swimsuits. Imagine dipping your toes into the warm golden sand while the rest of the world is bundled up in layers of wool. Welcome to Sydney, folks, where they've got a whole different take on the New Year's celebration. And let me tell you, it's as hot as the summer sun that's shining down on their beach parties. Sydney isn't just about a good old Barbie on the beach, though. It's about the drama, the spectacle, and the sheer joy of welcoming a new year. And nothing screams joy and excitement more than Sydney's famous harbourside fireworks. These aren't your run-of-the-mill sparklers, no sir. These are full-blown fireworks that light up the sky, reflecting off the waters of the harbour and painting the city in a myriad of colours. But the party doesn't end when the clock strikes 12. In fact, it's only just beginning. As the first day of the New Year dawns, Sydney siders take to the beaches for the tradition of a beach party on New Year's Day. It's a sight to behold, with laughter and cheer echoing off the waves and the golden sand speckled with people ready to dive head first into the new year. And let's not forget the quintessential Australian practice of lighting sparklers at midnight. It's a simple act, 
but one that holds a lot of meaning. As the sparklers crackle and fizz, they light up the faces of those holding them, casting a warm, hopeful glow on the year to come. It's a celebration like no other, a mix of tradition and modernity, of relaxation and revelry. It's a testament to the Australian spirit of making the most out of every moment, of living life with a spark and a sparkle. So if you fancy swapping snow for sand this New Year's, Sydney's got you covered. Just don't forget your sun cream. Think you can handle the hustle and bustle of New Year's Eve in the city that never sleeps? Let's dive into the heart of New York City, where the famous Times Square ball drop is the highlight of every New Year's Eve celebration. Imagine this. It's the last day of 2023. You're bundled up against the crisp winter chill, surrounded by a sea of excited faces. Above you, the iconic Times Square ball glistens, suspended in the air, waiting for its moment to shine. As the countdown begins, the anticipation in the square is palpable. It's a tradition dating back to 1907, and it's as magical now as it was then. But the real magic happens at the stroke of midnight. Just as the ball reaches the bottom of its pole and the clock ticks over to the first minute of 2024, a chorus of cheers erupts from the crowd. Strangers turn to each other, sharing smiles and well wishes for the year to come. And then of course, there's the tradition of the New Year's kiss. It's a moment of connection, a shared hope for the promise of a fresh start. Now let's add a dash of humor to our New York New Year's Eve tale. Picture this. After a night of revelry, the city that never sleeps is suddenly, well, sleepy. The streets just moments ago filled with joyful celebrations are now lined with folks trying to flag down the elusive New York taxi. It's a struggle, yes, but it's also a shared experience, a testament to the city's vibrant spirit that keeps going, no matter what. So are you ready to be a part of this epic celebration? To witness the Times Square ball drop? To share that midnight kiss? To join in the collective quest for a taxi home? It's a whirlwind. It's chaotic. It's quintessentially New York. So if you're up for an all-nighter this New Year's, there's no city like New York. Just make sure you've got your coffee ready for the morning. How about ringing in the new year with a bit of culture and a lot of karaoke? Now, hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to jet set to the land of the rising sun, Tokyo. This bustling metropolis is famous for its blend of the old and the new, and New Year's Eve is no exception. Here, tradition takes center stage as the clock strikes midnight. Imagine this, ancient temples aglow under the starlit sky, the air filled with the resonating chimes of the bells. The Japanese tradition, Joya no Kane, involves ringing the temple bells 108 times at the stroke of midnight. This, they believe, rids them of the 108 earthly desires, starting the new year on a clean slate. And while you're at it, don't forget to slurp up some Toshikoshi Soba. These long buckwheat noodles symbolize a long and healthy life. Now that's a tradition we can all get behind, right? But Tokyo isn't all Zen gardens and soba noodles. As the temples quiet down and the dawn breaks, the city comes alive in a way only Tokyo can. And what's the star of the show? You guessed it. The annual singing contest, Kohaku UTA Gassen. This televised event has been a staple since the 1950s and is as much a part of New Year's Eve as the Times Square ball drop is for New Yorkers. Kohaku UTA Gassen is a colorful spectacle of Japan's top musical talents battling it out in red and white teams. It's a night of high drama, flashy costumes and catchy tunes that will have you humming along, even if you don't understand a word of Japanese. So if you're looking to experience a New Year's Eve that's a little bit different, Tokyo could be just the ticket. Just make sure you've practiced your karaoke skills. From ringing bells at temples to belting out tunes on national television, Tokyo truly knows how to welcome the new year with a bang.